so yeah what up though so this video man I'm gonna show you this is a video by sister named styles by Nina I know I ain't got no views yet and ain't nobody fucking with me but when I catch on man or uh, whoever hit a hit a call or get on the frequency man you gonna you gonna see but styles by Nina Mexicans with copper color basically in this video I'm gonna show you Negroes and Indians and just continue to watch the Indians formerly subsisted on game, fish, acorns, etc. But it is now impossible for them to make a living by hunting or f For nearly all the game has been driven from the mining region or has been killed by the thousands of our people who now occupy the once quiet home of these children of the forest. Edward A. Stevenson. Listen, they occupy the land now. Now, today is called USA. In North America, should I say. And, the, and, and it's crazy in the bottom half of North America. Today, man. So let's go ahead and continue with this. Near the crowded gold fields, Indians found it harder and harder to find food. Some began to... Why the hell is hard for them to find food? Why? You already know though, for sure though, the key watch. Steel. The miners despised them all as diggers. One California law made it legal to declare any jobless Indian a vagrant. So man, what the hell any job? So if you ain't working for them, then you just, you worthless. See what I'm talking about, man? These crackers are worthy to be on their hands and knees. But listen to you. Then auction his services off for up to four months. Auction his services off? You heard that? Man, they auction... And, and, and some of these pages, I'm going to show you, man. I'm going to show you slavery ain't go nothing like how we heard. It wasn't no we was just slaves and that's all we was. They tricked us into that. I'm talking about some niggas only had to serve like seven years. You feel me? Ended up serving the rest of their life and the generations that they produced had to serve. They put us in debt, man. But now they in debt. And like I said in my last video, I say I just want 20 generations of them. And as we got 20 generations of them, I want to hunt them down wherever they go. But the Lord I got... The God of Israel, man, he cut, though. I'm talking about, man, I ain't... Shit, I gotta be a straight-up, real killer to be a hunter of God. But let's go ahead and hop straight into it. And it permitted whites to force Indian children to work for them until they were 18. Provi you heard that? Force Indian children until they were 18. Continue watching this video and the rest of the parts with it, man. You're going to see. I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove this to you of what this video is saying. But let's go. I did the permission of what the law called a friend was obtained first. Whites hunted down adult Indians in the mountains, kicked up their children, and sold them as apprentices. They get. Man, they kidnapped their children and sold them as apprentices. Remember this for the upcoming videos. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out your but keep watching for as little as fifty dollars. If ever an Indian was fully and honestly paid for his labor, one white settler said, "It was not my luck to hear of it." Indians could not complain in court because by another California statute. No Indian or black or mulatto person was permitted to give evidence in favor of or against a white person. All right, man. You, you see what that said? Continue watching this video, man. The finding mixed blood Indians in colonial Virginia and the Carolinas. I brought this out in my earlier videos, man. This is on the, the, the site called Skyway3.net. The same, I've been bought this site, man. Pause this and look at some of this or go on the site yourself. These are 1700s, now. 
Nat and Indian boy with the custody of Mary Green. Man, Green, look at this. Pause this and just read some of these, man. And look at this one down here. Register free papers of Daniel Coleman, a dark brown free Negro or Indian. Or, you can't tell the difference. A dark brown mulatto or Indian. Or, you can't tell the difference. Now it's a dark brown Negro one. Man, you can't tell. Look at this. I'm a, I'm a, man, alright, this the Turks or something to county, man. You can go on and check this out. I wanted to bring this out because the Free Moors of 1789 South Carolina legislative petition appear in the Charles and 1790 census. I'm telling you, whoa, you better check this out, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. Check this page out, man. Pause it and Look at it and see if some of this stuff interests you. So I'm gonna keep on going here. See, watch this. Hold on, hold on. All my slaves, whether Negroes, Indians, Mustis, or Mulattoes, toward a thick description of slave religion. Man, I, I I might go through some of this, man. I might read this another time. You see the slave catchers of the Cherokee. Wait, Governor South Carolina to protect the Cher Cherokee from the Catawba, Savannah, and Savannah slave catchers. So the Cherokee had to be protected by the, the Choctaw and the Savannah slave drivers. Watch that show, uh, Underground. I just finished watching it, man. Began to change from the Tawny Indian to the Black and more African. Man, I'm going to read this whole page on another video, man. This one right here, I'm going to read it. Let me go ahead and click out of here. Turks or something county, click out of here. Uh, uh, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm check some of that out in the next part. This is the Black Indians United, man. You see the page, check it out. It's called Black Indians United. Five Tribes Embassy. You check out this page yourself. They're going to help you find your heritage and lineage. I'm going to contact one of them sooner or later, but I'm going to bring out information about mine. All right, I'm going to come back. In. That's going to be in the next part. All right, this is brother I'm listening to, man. But, uh, okay. Watch this. I got a part that I'm bringing out, man. It's going to be about the Yamsi. It's going to be a Florida Indian thing, man. I'm bringing out Florida Indian history. I'm going to bring out how St. Augustine right around the corner, man. I told you my name is Ramonda Lacasey, man. I got a Spanish name, but I'm a, a Negro. I'm red. I'm dark red brown. I'ma show you, man. I'ma show you my damn wrist and under my forearm like yellowish, man. Both sides of my family got Indian in me. They say this, but they don't claim to be Indians. Therefore, I can't claim to say I'm Indian. All I can say is I got ancestors that were Indians on both sides of my family. Because they didn't claim it and they didn't teach me and they didn't tell me that I was a fucking Indian. They always brought up. Oh, yeah, my grandma this. Uh, my, my mama, man, my grandma, she know her people. She, her grandma's got damn Cherokee yellow as hell. My mama... Her daddy is Seminole, served as a Seminole scout. But why she don't claim to be Indian? My grandma, she claimed to be Indian, but still worship white Jesus. and She know we Israel. But she want to go and follow the white people Israel, uh, uh, Jewish stuff. But man, I'm going to continue on the next video, man.